if ever there was a film that could outsell Fantasia, it was Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast made over $300 million worldwide when it first came out. And naturally, it was a shoo to be named into the classics line. But oddly enough, the Beauty and the Beast tapes are usually, when you find a Beauty and the Beast tape, they're all going to be unique. For example, this one is an earlier printed tape. July 4th, 1992, Christmas lead. It says after the Sleeping Beauty trailer on it, has an Aladdin and the Sleeping Beauty trailer. That Sleeping Beauty release never happened anyway, but getting out of that, getting out of, getting ahead of myself. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, it tells you to stay tuned for two more previews. Maybe not two more, it says more previews. But when you get to the end, it only shows a trailer for 101 Dalmatians. I got conned out of a Pinocchio trailer, and I'm not happy. you back in there yeah this Beauty and the Beast tape this one right here comes with all the ancillary stuff I actually just got this one today because one of the Beauty and the Beast tapes that I did have and it had the uh, Pinocchio trailer right after the Sleeping Beauty trailer somewhere I think when Gaston tries to propose to Belle in this movie it starts to get this big, like, squiggly line right in between it, and it got really annoying. Look at all this ancillary stuff. I'll show it to you. Try to get this out of the way as quickly as possible. A Pizza Hut value card. God, I wish I had this now. Well, mainly because there's a Pizza Hut. A couple of, uh... Like a mile, mile or two away from here, I worship. I'm a huge fan of Pizza Hut. Business reply card. With all the titles on it. There we go. That one's in much better quality. Don't know why the other ones came out all smudged. Life just hates me. A Beauty and the Beast soundtrack and story collection. Came with, I guess, part of the Beauty and the Beast soundtrack. Oh, it gave you the CD, and uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't have the patience to read this. A Nabisco refund offer, mainly because Beauty and the Beast was the high seller. Fantasia was not on video at this point. Stop trying to push it. And this one's a bit bent. Good, hold on it. It's a bit bent. It's disappointing, but it's not. Those titles. Stuff from the studio film collection. I'm going to... Oh, I dropped it. I'm going to kill that cat. No, I'm not. Killing animals is wrong. Ah, right, here we go. Got to save one dollar on something. He has to annoy. He chooses to. He leaves me alone all day, and then when I'm doing stuff like this, he chooses to come annoy me. He is definitely a cat. For if there's anything new, there we go. A classic Christmas stuff about Elvis. Alvin and the Chipmunks, Rocky and Bullwinkle, and then the big one of Pinocchio, which was coming back on home video. You know what? I'll just put that ancillary stuff away later. In case I haven't shown the tape, the tape is a much later film, much later version. Come out, came out about after Thanksgiving. And this version has the Pinocchio trailer at the end, which I think is nice. Now, the third Beauty and the Beast copy that I have is unopened. And it is going to stay that way. You never know when someone's going to give you an overpriced thing for this. I got this in an eBay auction that I won. I got 
Um, what did I get in that auction? Got the Fox and the Hound. A masterpiece collection of Peter Pan and two other films. I'm trying to remember. One of the Alice in Wonderlands, I think, was one of them. But yeah, Beauty and the Beast, spectacular film. Number three on my list. The songs are amazing. Great villain, great story, great characters. Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, and The Lion King, and now Frozen are the four most elite films. I guess you could put Pinocchio in there too. Because they have the they have perfect characters, perfect stories, perfect songs. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast, pretty much.